I need your help. The devil has a new form more powerful than he's ever known. Save the world and lift your curse. Can I just say, I think you're the hottest monk ever. <laughs> How many monks have you seen? Um, um, not a lot, but ones I have seen, they don't even compare. Oh, thank you very much. I I'm think... sure you've been hearing that all day. Uh, no, but really? you're the, you're the first what? one that's, oh, I've heard a couple of times. Uh, a <laughs> couple of times, a couple of times. You're modest, <laughs> modest. Now, did you draw inspiration from your character from other comics, or is he original character? Uh, the Moreau character, the name Moreau is in all, a lot of the Marvel characters and, and of, uh, books or comic books, but they're not the same person. So what we did was just kind of like, go, all right, then let's figure out who he is. If he's Moreau, we, we figured out that he's probably a reincarnation of many different Marvel characters. And then what we wanted to do is give him that personality. In the script, he, he isn't as vivacious as he is on screen. We built that. So the eyes, the costumes, the, you know, the swagger, we sort of like, you know, sort of intentionally built that. In the movie, you play the villain, and we first see you, you're like the hot bad guy, and then later in the film, you transition to this creepy demon. What was that like for you? It was liberating. It was to be in, to physically look the way that character did allowed me to consciously go over the top and go further than I would have if, if I were just human, unless it was scripted that way. Did you feel like you were almost playing two characters in a way? Definitely. I feel like Blackout was a continuation or everything that like Ray Kerrigan actually would want to be. Because uh, for all intents and purposes, he was kind of like, he was a bad guy, but he became a really, really bad guy. <laughs> I don't, yeah, it was really, it was more of a, um, a, an extension of himself, but not really uh, something that, you know, I could answer that question both ways. That is now I'm realizing that that's the wheels that are going on in my head right now. Because actually, it could be either way, and it'd right. still be honest. Now you are into comic book movies. Like you were in Thor, you did the Losers. Now this movie. What is it about the comic book material that you like? I like that it's larger than life. The characters are just big, and you know, like they're not written with sort of like, oh, we have to look cool while we're saying this. A lot of them have to be just big and vivacious. You know, like when you look at the comic books, all the act, the, the faces, always sort of big acting. So I just like the idea that I get to just be a little free. You know, it's most television or film is talking heads, and it's you know a bit more. But but these type of films are just larger. How did you get in the mind frame to play such a dark character? Speaking to Blackout, like I just basically, cause I didn't get to eat really once I was in costume because it would kind of take too much, it would, it would ruin the prosthetics and then in turn take too much time to put it back together. So I didn't really eat. And then having to sit for four hours putting on the makeup really kept me in an agitated state. <laughs> Um, and uh, nobody really speaking the language. So that, I mean, all of that helped to facilitate like kind of an, uh, an uncomfortable place and then from jumping off from that was not that hard. And the directors, they have a very unconventional approach yeah. to filmmaking. What was that experience like for you? It was definitely refreshing um, and quite exciting. Uh, these guys were more like crew members than they were directors. So they were right there with us doing the stunts and all that stuff. Um, so that was a lot of fun, actually. I thought they were really impressive. This was very liberating because I did, what I mean by liberating, and I, I realize I've used that word twice, is that I couldn't control anything that was going on and nothing, I couldn't gauge one take to the next because it always changed. And it was two of them. And they both like just would maneuver cameras around where like I would turn, there would be nobody. The next time I did it, there'd be somebody right in my face, meaning the camera, and it'd be Mark right. or Brian. So it was fun. I'm not afraid of you. You should be. The rider's coming. Hell yes. Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance.